Mississippi Mills. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it is my pleasure to stand in support of this bill. Bill 42 is the seventh attempt to give Ontario's ombudsman investigative power over the province's 47 children's aid societies. It is a good bill and should be supported by all. The ombudsman is an officer of the legislature who is independent of government and political parties. The ombudsman's job is to ensure government accountability through effective oversight of the administration of government services. He responds to complaints from the public with the help of 80 staff members. Members of the public have been complaining to the ombudsman for years about the Children's Aid Societies, but his office has never had the power to investigate these complaints. His hands have been tied. Let's untie them for the benefit of children and families. If a child is in distress due to physical or mental abuse, that child's safety and best interests must be our first priority. The rights of parents must be properly upheld as well. We cannot continue to ignore the mistakes and bad decisions arising from the, act from the activities of the Children's Aid Society. Right now, complaints are resolved through the Child and Family Services Review Board, which is ineffective, biased, and backlogged. Urgent, unbiased investigative investigation of complaints is particularly important when it deals with a child and their family. Mistakes can last a lifetime. Increased oversight should always be promoted. Increased oversight leads to more efficient service delivery, which leads to cost savings. The Ombudsman has the power to identify how our government services are actually working for Ontarians. And when those services are not working, he has the power to outline a path to make them work. In my opinion, the Ombudsman should have the ability to look into any service delivered or mandated by the province of Ontario. Mr. Speaker, I support this bill. Thank you. Thank you for the debate, the member for Trinity Spadina.